check if a binary tree is a BST or not. Let's take this binary tree for example. Now, according to the BST property, for any node, the left subtree should have nodes smaller than that node, while the right subtree should have nodes bigger than it. So here, we can say that the left subtree of the root node will have smaller nodes than the root, and, the right subtree will have greater nodes only. Based on this observation, we can simply say that for a binary tree to be a BST, the value of each node must lie within a certain range. And the range for any node will be decided based on its parent node. So, let's start with the root. The root node can take any value, so its range will be minus infinity to plus infinity. In our case, the value of the root node is 10. Move on and go to the left node. The left node should be smaller than the root node, so its value must lie between minus infinity and 10. And in this example, the value of this node is 7, so, it is valid. Similarly, for the right node, its value must lie between 10 and plus infinity. And here, the value is 15, which is also valid. So, in a similar fashion, we will derive the valid range for each node based on its parent node, and check its validity. Now, since 9 doesn't lie in the valid range, which is from 10 to 15, this violates the property of BST and hence this tree is not a BST. Clone doubly linked list, which has a next, and an arbitrary pointer. Let's take this linked list as an example. Here, the white arrows represent the next pointer, and the red arrows represent the arbitrary pointer of a node. We are supposed to clone this linked list. So, to do that, first, simply clone all the nodes in a new linked list with only next pointers. We will call this new list, copy list. Now, point the next pointer of all nodes in the original linked list to the corresponding nodes in the copy list. For each node in the copy list, point its red pointer to the corresponding node pointed by that red pointer in the original list. Finally, in the copy list, point each node's red pointer to the immediate next node. The linked list has been cloned. Connect nodes at the same level in a binary tree. Let's take a tree as an example. We will be using level order traversal with a little modification to solve this problem. Start with the root node, and push it into a queue followed by a null node. Now, pop each node from the queue and push its children nodes in the queue. Also, connect the popped node with the front node of the queue. Keep doing this until a null node is encountered. Pop this null node and enqueue another null node in the queue. Here, the null node is acting as a marker to completion of a level in the tree traversal. Repeat the process for each level of the tree. This process will take big O of n time. Remove duplicates from a string, and arrange its letters in order. In this particular problem, we can use the data structure set. Set is implemented using self-balancing binary search tree, and the elements inserted in a set are, unique, and automatically sorted. Let's take this string for example. We will start iterating over each character, and push it in the set. And because this is a set, already existing characters will not be accepted. The time complexity for this process will be, big O of n log n, where n is the number of characters in the string. Given, a rotated array, which is sorted, search for an element in it. Let's take this array for example. Since the array is rotated, we will first find the pivot of rotation. Now. 
split the array at the pivot, which will leave us with two subarrays. Now take the element which is to be searched and compare it with the first element of the array. And if, the element is greater, then search in the left subarray, else, search in the right subarray. In our case, the element is greater than the first element, so we will search in the left subarray. Now that we have a sorted array, we can simply use binary search to find the required element. If this video helped, then let us know. Leave a like, or a comment. Thank you for watching.